Okay, the first stage of these questions is always to construct the equation for the thing that you want. And you want the formation of ammonia, all right? So N2 plus 3H2, we know that gives ammonia, all right? This is the, we're not quite yet there yet, all right? Bear with me for a moment. This, is, this, this shows a balanced equation to form ammonia. Right, I'm going to keep this. Uh, I keep. Oh, what's happened there? That's it. I'm just going to make it nice and tidy. All right, okay. Now that's the balanced equation. But the definition of enthalpy of formation requires only one mole of ammonia. So we must divide each of these components by two and this by two. All right, so we'll just copy it out again. And so the enthalpy, so the equation that we're after, the equation that we're after looks like this. 1 half N2 plus 3 over 2 H2 gives NH3. This is the equation that we need to construct. Now there's two ways to go about doing this sort of question. The first way I'm just going to show using mathematics. Now it's very simple. We look at these two equations. Which of these two equations has got the ammonia in it? Well you can see it's the first equation and that ammonia is on the left hand side. We don't want it on the left hand side, we want it on the right hand side. So we turn all of this equation round. All right, I'm going to put it underneath now. I'm going to copy, simply copy it and put it underneath, and then I'm going to turn it round. So just take that side out and put it to this side, and take that side out and put it to, to this side. All right, we've reversed the equation, get rid of that comma because there's no, there's no business being there. So now we've got the ammonia on the same side. Now, if we reverse an equation, we have to also reverse the enthalpy change. Now to reverse an enthalpy change it's simply a matter of changing the sign, it becomes a plus. Alright, so all we've done is reverse the first equation and change it to a plus. But we don't want four ammonias, we only want one ammonia. So now we're going to divide the whole equation by four. Alright, divide all that equation by four. So let's copy it out, let's put it down here underneath Right. Now, to divide, if you divide 2 by 4, what do you get? Well, you get a half, don't you? You get 1 over 2. We've divided that by 4. We divide 6 by 4. I'm just going to write 6 over 4, just to make it easy. Well, no, let's, make, let's, let's cancel it down to 3 over 2. All right? Oops, 3, 3 over 2. Divide 4 by 4, you get that. Divide 3 by 4, you get 3 over 4. All right, so if we divide everything by 4, we must also divide this by 4. So we get... That over 4, I don't know what that comes to, I've got a calculator handy, so let me just turn the calculator on, 1530 divided by 4 is equal to uh, 382.5, equals 382.5 kilojoules per mole. Right, okay, but this is no way, we know, so we've got this happily, right, we've got the ammonia on the right hand side, which is what we wanted. But now what we've got to do is we've got to get rid of, well, we don't, we need, we want half, a half N2, don't we? That was, I want to change the colour because this is the target, this is the target we're after there. So just keep reminding, we've got the half N2. Um, and we, now we've got some water we don't want, 3 over 2 H2. Well, let's go up to this equation up here. So 3 over 2 H2O. If we multiply this equation by 3 over 2, that will give us exactly the same amount of water, but on the right hand side. So we just make that water here exactly the same as this water here. So we just multiply this equation by 3 over 2. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it down here. And I'm going to multiply everything by 3 over, two, whoops, 3 over 2. So we multiply hydrogen by 3 over 2. Now, if we multiply oxygen, what a half O2 by 3 over 2, by 1 and a half. That's going to give a very awkward number, isn't it? Is there a problem here? H2 plus a half O2 is H2O, that's fine. All right. Um, that's going to multiply that by 3 over 2, and we're going to get 3 over 4. 3 over 4, and 3 over 4, O2. And the water, we multiply by 3 over 2, 3 over 2. Now, let's look at these two equations. Ah, sorry, first of all, we must change this equation, so we must take the energy change here, 
and multiply that by 3 over 2 as well. So that's times uh, times 3 over 2. So I want minus 288 times 3 over 2. Uh, what is it? 288? 288. Ah, that's me sneezing. Right, 432. Ah, I must be covered. There we are. So it's a negative sign. Don't forget the negative sign. Negative 432. Now, if we add these two equations together, what's going to happen? Well, let's have a look. That's wrong. Let's just go put a line underneath and just write add. Remember, we're adding this one, which I'm going to colour green, and this one, which I'm going to colour green. All right? I'm going to add them both together. So on the left-hand side, what have we got? We've got half N2. Let's copy that. Put it down here. Whoops. Underneath. Half N2. And the next thing we've got, we've got plus 3 over 2 H2 here. But on the right-hand side, we've got 3 over 2 H2 here as well. So effectively, we can strike out. I don't know if I can do strike out on this. Let's have a look. Can I strike out? Uh... I should be able to. It's on a font, isn't it? There we are. Strike out. Strike through. We can. That strikes through with that. We get rid of it. In other words, strike through. All right. Now let's keep looking. So on the left hand side, we've got 3 over 2 H2. Nothing. That doesn't cancel out with anything. So we'll put 3 over 2 H2 here. Plus 3 over 4. O2. Well, look at this. On the left-hand side, we've got 3 over 4, O2. And at the top here, we've got 3 over 4, O2 as well. So we can strike those two out as well. We can strike that out. And we can strike that out. All right, so our left-hand side is completely finished. And let's look, let's look at what's left on the right-hand side. Well, on the right-hand side, all we've got is NH3, ammonia. All right, so I want to copy the arrow and the NH3. Put them there. And so what did we do? Well, we just added these two equations together. So what we have to do is we have to add these two values together. So we need to say that plus, and this value is a negative, negative that, copy, and those equal. So 382 plus minus 432. Uh, what's that? 382. 2.5 minus 432. Oh my, yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't work. I, 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 I didn't press the calculator button correctly. 432, that's it, better. And that comes to minus 49.5 kilojoules. So that is the enthalpy of formation of ammonia as defined. Except the K should be short, small, and the joules should be large. Is that better? Kilojoules. Okay.